Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMG Let's Play of Young Dead It Out. When we left off, I got killed. Well, actually, I got my crotch cut off, which is pretty much like death if you think about it. So, we gave the doll to Hinata last time, and Honoka went crazy. So, I want to see what happens if you give it to Honoka. Now, apparently, there's three different endings that you can get. If you keep it for yourself, nothing really happens. They stay friends forever, and it's, it's boring. It's even called the boring ending. So, we're going to give it to Honoka, and I want to see what Hinata does. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's an interesting way to do it. Huh? F for me? That that kind of stuff doesn't really suit me. Give it to Hinata. What's with that look? Well, this kind of thing doesn't happen every day, so I guess I'll accept it. N not that I'm happy or anything, not one bit. Uh-huh. Yeah, you killed her in the other one. Of course, she, like, enticed me to try again, which was really weird. Alright. So, let's save, even though I don't think it's really going to make any difference, but I'll go ahead and save. There are emails from Honoka and Hinata. Waiting at the pier, our usual spot, okay. Piers to the east, secret base to the west. Alright, so we need to go... Let's see, we need to go to the pier. I hope that she doesn't talk about the cookies and stuff again, but... I'm trying to ignore... The secret base for now. If this is all the same, I'll go ahead and skip it. But I'm hoping at least it'll give you guys some content and it's not super short. What's up, girl? Oh. Yataro. You came. What's wrong? This is different. That's good. Huh? What What do you mean? There's nothing wrong with me. Are you saying there is? You dummy. There's nothing bothering me. Uh-huh. I... I'm not worrying about anything at all. I'm gonna push you into the river. Hey, I've been thinking about telling you this for a while. You want to know, don't you? Why I used to go over to your house and play every day? The truth is, it wasn't really because I wanted to talk to your mom. I just wanted to be with you again. I wanted to talk to you again. Surprised? Uh... Yeah, I guess. These options don't really make a lot of sense to me. Like, they're both the same, but just phrased differently. Of course, it's been so long after all. I love you. I really really do. So much it hurts. Ever since we were little, you've been the only boy I cared about. It's okay. You don't have to give me your reply right now. I'll wait. I'll wait for you. Well, good night. Look at you and your little courage. Letting him know how you feel. Yeah, I thought I was kind of a jerk, though, but that's okay. Well, actually, he didn't do anything. He's been pretty silent most of the time. It's night. Did I do the right thing? Picking one out of the two of them would be... Like rubbing dirt in the other's face. Not really! It's still just a stuffed animal. But I picked one. Even though there are no do-overs in life, I went and picked one. Now, no matter how it turns out in the end, I'm sure... I'm sure three of us won't be able to stay together anymore. Our precious days, people, daily lives. What kind of day will tomorrow be? I'm curious about that. I'm really curious about that. Is it going to be bad? Is it going to be brutal? Is she going <sighs> to... I don't even know. I don't even... I don't want to think about it. I'm just going to let it happen. Hi! Cinderella. 
Even though she was more beautiful, more kind, more precious, more cheerful than anyone else, it never did her any good. Her sisters worked her to the bone every day. She was unable to go to the ball, unable to meet her prince. All she could do was clean. A princess covered in cinders. Wait. Cinderella has a happy end, right? I am the princess. It's supposed to have a happy end, right? This isn't fair. I've been taken to this dirty city far away from my prince. All because of my parents. I have to be a straight-A student. I have to be a good girl. Why? Because I don't want people to get mad at me. Because I don't want to be bullied. I have to study hard every day. I live every day in fear. I... I'm going to break away from all this and see my prince. I don't want to wait anymore. Okay, so there's some backstory for her. Oh! You're still standing there, huh? Am I... a bad person? Even though I know how Hinata feels, I still... I wonder why Yataro gave me the stuffed toy. Is it because he was too embarrassed to give it to Hinata? But in the end, he gave it to me. He looked at me for once. No. This is bad. I can't get together with the person I like if it means betraying my best friend. Look at her and her nobility! I just can't do that. I mean, Hinata is my best friend. She's precious to me. Sure, there are times I felt like I hated her a little. We are rivals in a way, but... Ugh, what should I do? You idiot. How about you just be honest with yourself? Look at that smile. Who was that? It's me. The other you. My reflection in the water is speaking? Who are you? I'm me, of course. But forget about me. Are you a dummy? Friends are worthless anyway, so just shut up and take Yataro already. Shut up, leave me alone. You really are stupid. Don't you get it? Hinata was hoping for you to lose, you know. She pretended to be your friend while warning you to back off. Remember how she wanted you to cheer her on? Don't tell me you didn't even notice that. Shut up. Come on, quit trying so hard. Give yourself a break already. You knew how much Hinata loved Yataro. And yet, Yataro still chose you. Ah. Uh. He chose me. That's right. You should be happy about it. The feelings you've been harboring for a painfully long time have finally reached him. That's right. I'm sure I want Yataro a lot more than Hinata does. I don't know about that. So... Okay, so she justified her actions. But she's a, she seems more like a nice person, like a good person. Ah, here we go, the fourth day. The day when blood will be spilled once again. What's gonna happen? Do I have to do that awkward, like, bed thing again? Hey, are you sure you're okay with this? I have a feeling I do. It's fine. I see. Still, the two of us being alone. N not that I have a problem with it, but... 
he's kind of a jerk. Like, as soon as they, like, what, confess to him, he brings them over to his house. Kind of a jerk move. I called Honaka over to my house. I didn't say anything to Hinata. My parents are out, so the two of us are alone. The mood felt right, so I lightly pushed Honaka onto the bed. Oh, this again. Uh. Hey, stupid. What do you think you're... Ugh, pull yourself together. Do you have a death wish? You know you like it. Are you being coy? I guess. N no way. That's totally not it. I just... I'm just a little embarrassed. That's all. Uh, pff, well, I guess we'll just start with one, because... Yeah, okay. Erk. What? Well, well, excuse me for having them in white. You're messing with me, aren't you? I didn't say anything, did I? You perv. Ah, jeez, what's with that stare? If you're gonna do it, hurry up already. <laughs> okay. Well, then in that case, just whoosh. Bam. This is weird. Still feels awkward. This is embarrassing. For everyone involved, it's embarrassing. Don't worry. This is actually... This is actually my first time doing this kind of thing. What should I do? Run for your life. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> oh, it's creepy. Oh, why are you such a creeper? It's alright, because we're going to die. Yatado, well, he might not die. But be gentle, okay? I'm going to beat the hell out of you if you aren't. Be gentle or I'll punch you in the face. Uh, we should get stopped before anything happens. So, boom. Yeah, there we go. That wasn't what happened last time. That was a squish. That was a bloody joke. Okay. Hi. Was that me or her? Did, did Honoka die or did I die? Ro Taro Come on Yataro Get up Yataro Ah Hi Hinata Jeez you're finally up Good morning You were making a lot of noise in your sleep Were you having a bad dream? I hope this just doesn't, like, change the ending a little bit. Or were you having a dirty dream? After all, look at that. You horn dog, you. Why are you in my room? Jeez, are you trying to play dumb? You promised we'd go on a date today. You were so slow to show up that I came to get you. It's morning, huh? That's right. All that stuff until now was just a dream. It was all just one long, long nightmare. Hinata never transferred schools. She was still here, and we were all having fun spending our summer days together. I had told Hinata about my feelings for her. No, you didn't. We were going out. No, you're not. In fact, it was probably fate that led me to be with Hinata. So? Yeah, this is reality. It's reality, but it's not what you think it is. Hey, Yataro. How about a good morning kiss? Mm. Uh, where is Honoka? Huh? Did you say something? Hmm? Yataro. Do you like Honoka? Oh, please. That must be some sort of delusion. You're my prince! There's no way you could like Honoka. After all, we made that promise when we were kids. That's why now... Now, 
No one will get in our way anymore. <laughs> so, Yatado? Could you keep your eyes on me and only me? Is there a dead body in the corner? Hinata brought her face close to mine. The moment our lips met, I caught a glimpse of it. Behind Hinata was a box. Nope, it's not a box! Holy crap, what did you do to her? Honoka's dead! I'll just scream. That sounds appropriate. Holy crap, she jacked her up! Yataro! Are you gonna run away? I had fully woken up now. Reality had thrust itself into my mind, shattering the delusion of my denial had put up. I ran out of there as fast as I could. I had to get away as quickly as possible. <laughs> so you are going to run. Oh, she's creepy. So creepy. I'm sorry, do you have a sword? Hinata was coming after me with some sort of sword. If she catches me, I'm done for. I'm sure of it. Is this reality? Something really bad is happening. Yeah! All I can do right now is keep running. I'm finished the moment my legs stop moving. I kept running. That's right. It came to me so suddenly I was briefly confused. All this time I was actually together with Honoka. Hey, Yataro! Let's see which one of us can run faster! <laughs> Chasing after you is so fun! Hey, can you hear me? She is crazy. Oh! We in the mountains? Running out of the house. Running down the streets. Running through the forest into a va- Run! Why are you running into, like, a forest? That's dumb. For some reason, it felt like I was being lured toward less and less populated areas. Yeah, she has a sword. If you went to the train station, I'm pretty sure somebody would have seen ya. Even though I was running as fast as I could and panting frantically, completely out of breath. Hinata's breathing was completely normal. I wondered why it was, but I didn't have time to. Ah. I pathetically tripped over myself and went tumbling. Hehe. <laughs> Yatado, I caught you. And now, I'm not going to let you get away. I wanted to run away. But my legs... My legs couldn't move another inch. Cowering and trembling, I couldn't even stand up. <laughs> Welcome to the ball, Yatado. Huh? You're still trying to run? I think you should probably give up now. She gonna cut my legs off. It'll be bad for both of us if you keep trying. Don't worry, I'll make sure you get back home before the clock strikes 12. So? So, just for the special occasion, I'll make it so you can't run anymore. I knew it! First, your right foot. Oh god! Wow! Just as expected from a sword this sharp. <laughs> now it's time for your left foot. That sucks. Oh, this? This is my favorite sword. Any girl who has a favorite sword is probably crazy. I'm just saying. I mean, it's different if you have, like, the master sword or some kind of, like, anime replica. This girl has a legit sword that she's killing people with. I call it Masamune-chan. I hope you two get along well. I don't know. She might split us apart. <laughs> Too soon. It was lying around the house, so I thought I'd take it for self-protection. I thought it might just be a fake sword, but I guess it was real after all. Wow. I think my family might be pretty incredible. Isn't this a katana? I always heard that katanas are super sharp. And I guess it was true. Oh, that's it. I thought of something good. Hey, Yataro, 
Did you know a person can live without their arms and legs? If they can. Let's try it out. Why? Don't worry. There's nothing to be scared of. Just things to be terrified of. Once you've lost your arms and legs, Hinata will do everything for you. Okay then, here I go. What? I can't cut it very well because something hard is in the way. Oh, of course, it's bone. That's all it is, just bone. How funny. <laughs> oh God. Wh what? This gentle looking angel of a girl is doing something like this? <laughs> I wonder. I wonder why it all turned out this way. <laughs> in the end... In the end, Yataro. Once this is all over, you're just going to throw me in the trash. Oh, I know. I can see right through you. Of course I know. I've been watching you this whole time. It's true. This is pretty irrational, isn't it? But you're the one who made the choice. And really, you should have just chosen me, Yataro. Come on! You should have given the stuffed toy to me. You gave it to Honoka instead. That means you're at fault. Yes, I think it's your fault. Oh yeah! Let's just start over from the beginning. You know what I'm talking about, right? This world is just an illusion anyway. It's fiction. You can restart it as many times as you want. Right? So before the spell wears off, my prince, in the end, Cinderella gets her happy ending. She stays together with her prince forever. <laughs> now die and do it over. Snap! Oh my god! She told you to restart it. She's like, do it again. Wow! True end to Cinderella's Darkness. Alrighty then. That was insane. Sniff. So this is goodbye, Yataro. You're also sad that I'll be gone? Thank you. Huh? G getting married? No, we're still in elementary school. I think it's a little too early for that. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that though. Yataro, I love you. It's a promise, got it? Don't forget. So, I'll see you. I'll see you again someday. Take care. It was a nostalgic dream. Why? Why am I remembering something like that just now? I'm sorry, Hinata. I'm sorry. Weird. Okay, I don't know what that was about, but that was really weird. Anyways, that is the other ending to Yang Derera. I don't know, I can play some more games like this. There's actually some suggestions and stuff when I was looking for logos for uh, the first episode that I found of apparently other games that kind of play off of this idea. So that might be a lot of fun. I'm not too sure. It was kind of cool. The first episode was very slow, but these two endings kind of made up for it because you can see the crazy side of both of the girls. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's go. Okay, so we'll give it to Hinata because she wanted it. Right?
Oh. Oh. Excuse me?